Now, as Italy continues to ease the lockdown measures imposed to curb the spread of the coronavirus, the Prime Minister is being questioned over his government's handling of the crisis. Prosecutors from Lombardy, the country's worst hit region, have been meeting with Giuseppe Conte. They held talks for over three hours this afternoon. 34,000 Italians died from COVID-19, and that is one of the world's highest death tolls. For the very latest, let's go to Rome. Our correspondent, Seema Gupta, is there. And uh, Seema, first of all, is uh, Giuseppe Conte being accused of something? Well, essentially, uh, you've got the magistrates from Bergamo in Lombardy up north. They've travelled to Rome to speak to the prime minister. They spoke to him for three hours. They're also expected to question the health minister and other officials uh, to try and understand whether they were somehow uh, responsible for potential uh, cases and issues that happened in Lombardy during the pandemic. Now, that's because uh, some 50 or so family members have brought forward a case uh, saying that they want an investigation into whether there was responsibility responsibility on the part of uh, officials, whether regional or national, uh, in terms of the deaths of their loved ones uh, from COVID-19, that perhaps uh, certain measures could have been taken uh, earlier to prevent the spread of the disease to the extent of which that killed their family members. Now, there are two main questions, really, they're looking at. One is whether uh, this area, these two towns, Alzano Lombardo, as well as Nembro, uh, both of them in the province of Bergamo, whether they should should have been turned into red zones earlier when uh, the first cases of COVID-19 were detected uh, sometime early on in the pandemic back in February. And uh, particularly an issue of a particular hospital in Alzano Lombardo. Why is it that it was closed, sanitized and then reopened again after they detected a case? So uh, they say that there was a difference in the handling in those particular towns as opposed to perhaps in Codonio, which was the town that was first declared a red zone early on in the pandemic. Now, soon after, of course, if you remember, uh, other areas were closed in red zones, then eventually the entire country was on lockdown. So they're saying that somebody needs to take responsibility for that. And so uh, this is where the magistrates have to decide. And they've already spoken to regional officials, but they've come down here to Rome to speak to the prime minister to see whether really was there criminal negligence. Could something have been done uh, is what these uh, relatives are saying to prevent these cases from happening. Now, these relatives have actually formed a social media group. They're calling themselves Noi di Nucheremo, which essentially means we will report and they want to see legal action taken, uh, not so much for a compensation, but about justice is what they're saying, at least representatives of these uh, groups of relatives. And this investigation is not without controversy, is it, Seema? Talk us through some of the possible political implications of all of this. Yes, that's because, I mean, here you're seeing an issue of who takes responsibility. Should it be the regional officials? Should it be national? Now, the differences between regional officials and national officials is not exactly unheard of here in Italy. But, of course, there is a difference here because, of course, Lombardy is controlled by the Northern League, the far-right Northern League party. As well as, in particular, Lombardy, the health, uh, public health official that's in charge, he's from the centre-right Forza Italia party. So, really, it's the right wing parties that are currently in opposition in terms of national politics. Uh, currently in government, we see a coalition government with the centre-left Democratic Party and the Five Star Movement. And they're in uh, power right now nationally, as opposed to uh, these centre-right parties that are in opposition. So it can have implications in terms of the national scenario, particularly if a particular party is found to be blamed, the other one can point in their direction when it comes to uh, eventual elections here in Italy. And so, really, it has political ramifications, not just in terms of the concerns of those relatives uh, that have lost their loved ones to the coronavirus. Seema, thank you very much indeed. Seema Gupta there in Rome.